Today I got a Omega Pirate low percent um, or 21 percent tutorial video for you. It has been requested uh, by a couple of different people and not only that, it's probably just a nice thing to have sitting around. Uh, this is one of the more stressful parts of 21 percent if you don't have a nice solid strat for it because a lot can go wrong and you got to do a lot of things correctly. So. I guess we'll just start, um, I'm going to name each of these three pools for starters. Uh, this will just make it easier for me to tell, kind of describe what's going on and for you to have a solid understanding of what I'm referring to during the course of this. I will be kind of pausing, describing what I'm going to do, and then executing that because trying to describe what I'm doing while I'm doing it uh, during this fight would be very, very difficult. So nice and easy. Um, starting pool. Self-explanatory. This the pool he starts in. Um, elevator pool, because there's an elevator there, and we got other because it's other. Um, so this fight is uh, pretty. Uh, you start this. You start the fight the same way. You want to be on either side, obviously. Uh, you don't want to activate his like attacking AI before you have eliminated all of his armor plates. So that's what we'll start off by doing here. Now, the way this fight works for this first part, he's got four armor plates, and each of them can take 13 shots from your plasma beam. Um, you want to destroy the first three while strafing around him as quickly as you can. Once you get to the last one, you want to be careful and you want to count your shots. Uh, get up to 12, because before you destroy it with your 13th, you want to make sure that you pull a Mega Pirate out of the pool uh, of Phazon that he's standing in. Because the next step in this fight is to do Trooper Skip, which um, is very risky and challenging to do in low percent with no E tanks um, if he's standing in the pool of Phazon, damaging you. So to, to lure him out of the pool, you want to like let act, like uh, trigger him. Uh, let him see you before you destroy it. He's going to do an attack or two, and then he's going to walk out towards you a little bit. And then that's when you can uh, go ahead and destroy that last plate and start the trooper uh, skip sequence. So we'll just start off here by destroying each of the armor plates. Now when I get to this last one, I'm going to start to count them out. Remember, 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. Now I'm going to let him see me. I'm going to do his attack, probably two of them. Alright, here he comes. Alright, so now Trooper Skip. From my understanding of the way this works, um, further you are away from him, uh, the earlier within that timing window that allows for this to work properly, you have to lay the power bomb. The closer you are, the more accurately you can determine your, your timing. Um, the, the risk there is you'll notice if you try to get right up underneath his chin, you'll get knocked back and attempting to realign yourself uh, before your timing window is gone can be very challenging. So what I like to do, I like to get right up in like right up almost underneath his chin, kind of right to the left just a little bit, kind of by his hand. This way I know that I'm not going to get knocked back. When I see him lift up his head, that's my visual cue to just tap forward slightly on the control stick, lay the power bomb, and get the heck out of dodge. So we'll execute that real quick here. All right, so I'm not going to spend time explaining the mechanics of this fight as if you've ran any other category in this game or can look up, a, a, you know, standard fight tutorials for this fight. The way he 
appears in certain pools or whatever. Um, all I'm going to be doing is telling you how I do this particular fight um, in low percent. So obviously, he's going to. You have a be, you have a period of time here, and I like to get up. There's like this little line right here in the ground. I like to be in more fall right behind that line. The first pool we're going to be laying the power bomb in is going to be the pool he started in up there. You want to wait until you see him appear, and there's also kind of a sound, like a weird, uh, kind of electrical sounding sound or something like that, and that's your cue to start rolling forwards. Now, the only way that your power bombs deal damage to a mega pirate is, or consistently, anyways, and then is by rolling through the corner of the Phazon pool. So you have to roll in through the corner, of the, the top corner of the Phazon pool, lay your power bomb as you're rolling through it. And as you probably already know, at this point you need to roll a ways a bit and unmorph and equip your X-ray visor. Uh, he does not take damage unless you have X-ray visor equipped. So I'm gonna sit here and I'm gonna wait for him to appear in this first pool. I'm gonna roll through the corner with the power bomb, roll away, and pull out X-ray visor. So that's the next step here. Also, I guess I can note uh, a nice little visual cue that I have that I like to use for this first one. You can see Omega Pirate's shadow on the ground still out in front of you. You know he's about to appear when that shadow disappears. So now, uh, the second pool here is where the fight kind of starts to get a little challenging. So once you know that that power bomb has done damage, I like to get my scan visor out because you need to very quickly get yourself over to elevator pool, uh, the one over by the elevator. And specifically, you need to get to the wall behind it. So. And you want to position yourself in front of that wall. Um, I'll, I guess I'll get that far and then kind of explain what you do next. Okay, so now, you have, as you can see, you don't have a lot of time to set this up. So he's going to fall to his knees. You want to be at this wall by this point. Because shortly after he falls to his knees, he's going to disappear again. Um... By this point, th that's your that's your cue to be in morph ball already. So as soon as you get to this wall, you want to get back in morph ball. When he disappears, that's when you roll forward and lay your next power bomb in the corner of elevator pool. At this point, you then want to start heading towards in the direction of other pool. Uh, just make a beeline for other pool. Once you're about more than halfway to that pool, you can now unmorph and equip x-ray visor to deal the second bit of damage to a mega pirate here. Now, once that's done, you, this last one is probably the hardest for timing. Um, for this reason, I personally like to have the sound off. but. You want to keep an eye on Omega Pirate here. Um, note that pirates or troopers at this point are going to drop. And you want to ignore them. You don't want to deal with them at all. You also want to make your way, as quickly as you can now at this point, over to starting pool. Kind of like the wall kind of adjacent to it or right behind it slash like next to it. But you want to keep an eye on Omega Pirate this whole time. Because... He's going to, again, fall to his knees and kind of shake his fist and he's going to disappear again. At this point, you need to start rolling towards other um, starting pool to lay your power bomb. Um, because you basically, he's going to laugh. So he's, you're going to hear him start to laugh briefly, uh, shortly after he disappears. Once you hear him laugh, you basically need to be laying your power bomb in the pool. Otherwise, you're too late. 
the direction you want to head is towards other pool again. You want to get about halfway there and you want to pull out your x-ray visor to deal the last bit of damage to a mega pirate. So to recap on this one, you need to kind of do a little bit of dancing around a little bit here while keeping an eye on a mega pirate because um, it's important to know when he falls to his knees and he's getting ready to disappear because that's kind of your cue to make sure that you're in morph ball and kind of in a position to be ready to start heading towards that pool. Once he disappears, you have just a couple of seconds before you're going to hear that laugh. Um, once you hear the laugh, you need to have laid the power bomb in the corner of the phase on pool and be rolling out away from it at that point. So as you can see, when executed like that, the fight will essentially work the exact same way every single time. You never have to worry about variants as long as you get trooper skip and you manipulate the pools in the order as such and you make sure that your movement is the same. So don't don't be different differing your movement in between each, you know, attempt to attempt. Um, try and really focus on getting your movement to mirror what you saw in the video here because that is what I have found to be the consistent way to move around to ensure that you're hitting your timing windows correctly um, manipulating his pool uh, appearances to make sure that he's appearing in the pool that you want him to appear in and making sure that your power bombs are actually dealing the damage that they're supposed to be dealing all of this is variable and can change just by minor discrepancies and minor changes in your movement and or you know how you're executing the fight so all of that is you know all very important the setups for each pool are important to try and mirror is to the best of your ability obviously there's many ways that you can do this fight this one just happens to be what i found to be very consistent for myself um the way i put it is it's kind of like clockwork uh this fight operates the same way for me every single time and I never have to worry about it. So I hope this was helpful and I uh, will see you next time with my next video.